Hey guys, it's Ebony. This is me working on the the oxalis plants that were remaining in my collection in April of 2020. I had gotten rid of all of my pots basically except for these three basic plants the purple shamrock oxalis regnelli which is the green one and then um the ken aslet oxalis and what i did was i bought some more of the tubers and i bought some white pots and i um i just potted them up all that I'm doing is um, putting the tubers on the top of the soil and then adding a thin layer of soil over it. And then I'm going to water these plants up. I found out last summer that um, the oxalis can sometimes take up a lot of space. At least where I had it um, in my screened in porch. So I had gotten a bit overwhelmed with the amount of plants and I got rid of a lot of them meaning I gave them away basically um but this year I think I have a solution for that problem not only that I've spotted some different types of oxalis that have me extremely excited for the weather warming up so yeah, I'm cleaning up a little bit. I made a mess. It, there's nothing new. But I was still just enjoying doing some plant maintenance. And, you know, this plant is really easy. So, it was fine. It was still hot also. So, I could give all of these plants a good drink. And I didn't have to worry about the bulbs rotting or anything like that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you. I've purchased more bulbs from the Oxalis Kin Aslet. I think this is a gorgeous plant. Yes, I've owned it before, but I want more of it. And so I'm really going to work to make my pot fill up and enjoy it again this year. Look at this. This is a variegated oxalis, and I'm super excited to own this. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to buy all of these plants or not, but these plants are definitely on my wish list, and I want to get a lot of bulbs, like a lot, a lot of bulbs. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, in my original Oxalis collection, um, which was the first one that I did when I started YouTube, I previously owned this plant. I don't know what I did to it. Um, I really struggled recognizing that this plant is actually a succulent, so I would like to give it one more try. So the Ario reticulata is a very unique looking succulent. I just really like the contrast veining in the leaves. And also the seller on Etsy put the video up of this plant and it just made it so much more real that I kind of felt like I have to buy it. But we'll see which ones I'm actually going to purchase. Finally, this is the Oxalis Versicolor Autumn Pink. I have been seeing the ones that are red and white for years, and I always felt like they were kind of Willy Wonka, but I really love the way that this plant looks so delicate. Um, the leaves themselves are just on these thick branches, and I'm going to have to do it. So what I did is I ordered some of these hanging planters and I'm going to purchase a long metal bar so that I can hang these in a spot on my porch 
where they will not create clutter and I won't feel like I'm overwhelmed, but they'll get plenty of sun. So let me know which one of these plants you guys think I should buy. And thank you for checking out my video. See you later. Bye.